My name is Thomas Keranen and uh, I'm the product manager responsible for the uh, Epicode DevOps platform offering. And uh, I'm going to spend 10-15 minutes explaining what this solution is about. What are the benefits? What's, what is the technical solution that we have here at, in, in the background? And uh, to be sort of a, to give you a, really an overview, uh, Epicode Root is, is it is a reintegrated. Uh, uh, self-service, highly automated uh, software assembly line uh, that we offer to our customers as a service. So we also uh, offer a wide variety of services uh, ranging from uh, platform uh, setup to, to project onboarding to maintenance support and then to, to continuous platform development. And uh, currently we have, if you calculate all the individual customer instances together, we have roughly eight thousand individual users for the platform today. Our uh, public references are uh, OP, for example, BR, the, the State Railway here in Finland, and then uh, Rovio, Valmet, uh, uh, Metso, and so forth. The DNA is also our customer. So what is it good for the platform that we have? So <coughs> uh, DevOps is basically uh, above all, uh, a way of working together as a team towards a common target uh, without having the traditional boundaries between uh, design, product management, development, testing and operations. Uh, it's basically a culture, but it is really hard to work together without having a common set of tools. Uh, so to be able to make a successful DevOps transformation you will need a, a rock-solid foundation, which is basically provided by well-thought, integrated software production line. And uh, this foundation that we offer, uh, along with, of course, the culture and uh, the new way of working, that provides means for delivering software with short release cycles. It's exactly what Marco talked about. Uh, so with short delivery cycles, you are able to first of all create and then transfer value to your end users faster than before. The idea is to have a constant flow of value streaming towards your customer throughout the pipeline. Uh, automation provides basically a basis for the short release cycles as well as short feedback cycles for the development teams. So the, the, the ethical root platform it basically enables the teams to fully automate building, uh, testing and release processes throughout the, the software development pipeline. So everything that can be written as a code should be written as a code and then automated. Uh, once you ha uh, have gained the capability to deliver software fast through the pipeline, it is essential to gain visibility across the system. So uh, for example, are the teams using the, the tools as they should? Uh, are they using the tools at all? Uh, what is the level of automation right now? If you look at the individual teams, do you have bottlenecks in the system? Is there something to improve? So uh, as part of the root platform, we offer this visibility. We offer ready-made dashboards that allow you to see how well the projects actually perform. Uh, in the work that they're doing. Uh, this is our reference architecture. So as you can see from here, we offer uh, all the tools that are part of a modern software uh, production pipeline. So we have tools for requirement and project management, document management, the whole automated pipeline that begins from the version control and ends with automated deployments. We have functions for monitoring and analytics. We have taken the best tools available in the marketplace and we've integrated them together so that they form a solid, seamless assembly line. We are using the tools that are listed here. Sorry about the small font. Uh, they're mostly open source, but we also have some commercial tools in use. Uh, this is highly modular, so we use the reference architecture as a baseline for an individual platform design. But at the end, uh, each of these tools that we offer as part of a reference architecture are replaceable with alternatives, if that's what our customers desire. 
the platform itself, it can be also built in pieces. So we can start with a smaller installation, a smaller set of tools, and we, then we expand from there. Uh, this system can be fully hosted, so it means that we are responsible for the whole stack starting from the, from the hardware up. Uh, we make sure, sure that it's available 24-7. Uh, and so forth, but it can also be installed in, in the customer premises on-premise, or it can run on a public cloud infrastructure. So along with this technical solution, we offer, like I already said, uh, a range of services. So we cover the whole uh, platform life cycle, starting from the beginning. So we ramp up the, 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 the system to our clients based on their needs. We integrate the system to, to, the, to the existing tools that may be already available in the customer network. We train the, the customers personal to use the tools in the correct way. Uh, we help in project onboarding. And once everything is up and running, we take care of the maintenance uh, support as well as hosting if, if so desired. So we make sure that everything works smoothly and uh, the teams that actually are then responsible for using the tools have always support available based on their actual needs. So this is on demand support work. And then we always make sure that that the, the, the uh, platform is up to date and we keep adding new functionalities to our selection so that our clients are basically able to pick and mix whatever tools they would like from our portfolio of solutions. And then uh, on top of all this, all these tools that we, we see, uh, we offer as part of the pipeline, we have track and drive functionality that brings the visibility to the, to, the, to the pipeline. So, for example, we are able to show uh, whether the tools are actually used uh, by the projects in the correct way. So in this case, for example, do they have static code analysis? Are they tracking bugs as they should? Do, do they have Jenkins automation or, or any automation in, in their pipeline? Do they have test automation specifically there? Do they have monitoring in place? So this is for the management to see uh, whether how well the, the DevOps methodology adoption is basically picking up pace inside the organization. Then we have tool specific uh, dashboards, sorry, like uh, project specific dashboards for quality as well as, as <coughs> to measure the quality as well as uh, development activity. Can I ask something? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I <coughs> think those tools are very technical and uh, uh, as far as I understand, uh, that um, support and training is uh, quite technical based. But uh, how about your consulting, for example? Is it uh, supporting a kind of a cultural change in an orga organization? Because it's, it's not always a tool. We do that as well. Okay. So, uh, so it's quite typical, actually, that we offer the platform itself, meaning the tools and the basic yeah. support and maintenance and all that. Okay. And uh, along with that, uh, there is somebody from our side, a consultant basically, who makes sure that the, the teams get all the support they need. Okay. Like a DevOps lead type of a character. Okay. Yeah. And if you look at it from the FEProx point of view, we're already what, 125 DevOps consultants basically uh, through the Nordics, and that's what we do as uh, the biggest business area. But you're right about that, that it's usually something that's needed as part of moving towards. Yeah, it's not the tools. Yeah. Like yeah, like I said, I said in the beginning, it's about the culture. It's, yeah. it, it's about the, the teams working together towards a common set of targets. But so that we, we don't wanna, want the teams to be left hanging in the air, basically. So they need the tools, mm -hmm. but they ne also need yes, support yes. Uh, in other areas. Thank you. Um, sorry, I have a question about yeah. As an organization, I would say that usually the best way of approaching acceptance testing, which means the criteria that makes you able to release something, to be found into the original requirement. So as you probably know, we are also developing the robot framework, the open source tool for test automation. And one part of the ideas behind that test automation is that it's written in a language that can be understood by the whole organization and the team. So 
I, I still see that many organizations do testing very on a very technical level and then have the QA separated from that part. When, where on the other hand, it should be so that the team together forms the test cases. And it doesn't matter who writes them in the end, that everybody has the common understanding. But yeah, test automation is something that should be definitely a part of the modern pipeline, in a way or another. Yeah, so we have uh, tools for that as well available. Uh, especially for, of course, for uh, automated testing, there are like multiple places where you can apply it. Uh, unit testing, acceptance testing, security testing, compliance testing, load testing, and so forth. So, and our aim is to kind of offer tools for all of that, for the whole chain, for the whole. But also, yeah, yeah. also if yeah. you look at the organizations we've started with, they've already had, have had tools in place to be integrated here, to be visible also, showing not only the results, but also how, how vast is the use of those tools. <coughs> All right, but that was more or less what yep. I had in my plans. Cool. Any questions? Okay. Thank you.